Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't feel great. It's a wild Josh in his natural state. Hello. Hello. Where are we going? Ali Wong, San Diego. Are you excited? You. I'm excited. Are you excited? You know, I'm very excited. <laughs> yes. Are you actually excited? There are the tickets. Hey, don't show off our tickets, man. We almost left them. Yes, but um, some of us remembered. Just half. Just half that half. It was half that half. He was too busy locking up Bali. And making Easter brunch for tomorrow. So we're on our way to San Diego to go see Ali Wong and these were Christmas presents that he bought us. So it's really awesome and I'm very excited. And we will show you what happens before the show because we're going to go down a bit early and then we will let you know how it is. Hey everyone, happy Easter. It is Easter Sunday. I am at a grocery store so if I look weird it's because someone's staring at me. Uh, welcome back. Um, last night I talked to you about going to Ali Wong with my boyfriend down in San Diego and we did and it was really awesome. I didn't end up filming anything down there just because we got out of the car finally and found a parking spot somewhere and walked around and then we went to a dessert place. I'll insert a picture. Um, and then we went to the show and we couldn't have any phones or cameras. Our phones were locked up in little pouches during the whole show. She was amazing. Her opener, Shane Wayne, Shane Wang, Shane Wang, I think. He was really good. Um, so that was awesome. It was so much fun. Then we got back pretty late last night so I didn't feel like filming. Um, yeah. So. I just wanted to let you guys know that it was really awesome. I would definitely recommend trying to go and see her if you can. She's on the milk and money tour right now and it was really funny and awesome. One other thing I wanted to share with you is really exciting, part of my job search. I have an interview for tomorrow afternoon at the school district I had my previous interview for. Now I have one that's at like an actual school for the district that I interviewed with. Um, so that's tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to be updating you more on that. I was going to go this morning before work to Kohl's and get another shirt because I'm going to be interviewing possibly with the same lady that I interviewed with before. So I want to get our new shirt. But it's Easter and Kohl's was closed. So maybe I will take you with me when I go tomorrow morning <laughs> before my interview to get a new shirt and I will show you that and my whole outfit. And of course I'll probably just take you with me when I drive over to the interview and chat with you and then I'll definitely talk to you about it afterwards. But yeah, so those are my little updates I have right now and I am going to go because there's people parking next to me and they're looking at me really funny and I have to start work soon. So yeah. Hey guys, good morning. It is the day of the interview. It's about 9.30. I just pulled into Kohl's. So I'm gonna go get a new shirt. I'm gonna show you the pictures of the ones that I try on and obviously I'll show you the one that I get. When I'm back at home, I'm gonna get ready and I figured I would show you that part, including you know, makeup, hair, what I'm wearing all together and you know, getting ready for my interview and then we'll be off to the interview and I'll probably take you with me for some of that. So yeah, stay tuned and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back from Kohl's. I wanted to show you what I got. So first I'll show you the important items, which are the shirts. So I got the pink shirt that um, is, it's a button up, but you just can't see the buttons. So there's that one. I think that's what I'm gonna wear today. And then I also got this blue one, which I thought was really cute actually. I've seen a lot of shirts like this before and I never thought that I looked good in a collar. So I was actually really surprised when I put it on. So yeah, I got that just for fun and for in the classroom, I think. 
And then I also bought some other stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. It's mainly makeup stuff. So I did get these sandals. They were on sale. Um, we do have a cruise coming up and I like to wear sandals a lot. So I grabbed those. And then I bought a bunch of e.l.f. makeup. So I got a face primer, a blending brush, a blush brush, a foundation brush, a highlighter brush, or highlighting brush, and then a contouring brush. And then for actual makeup, I got a concealer and highlighter and a baked highlighter, and then an HD Perfect Finish powder. Just because, like, m the makeup I have, um, I know I would wear it more if I had the right tools to put it on. So I got all that stuff, and I'm going to show you what I do for my makeup um, in a little bit. But I still do have about an hour and a half at least before I want to leave. Gosh, falling over. So I'm going to work on finishing up my interview prep first, which I'll show you. And then I'm going to put my makeup on and get ready and all that. So yeah, we're going to put this stuff away and then I'm going to work on my interview prep. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you that I'm taking to my interview is this. It is a teaching portfolio. Now I'm going to say this right now. I'll probably forget to link it and I'm so sorry. But this is from Michelle Ferre from Pocketful of Primary. She had this in her TPT store and I purchased it from her about a year ago, I want to say. And that's where these um, pages come from, just so you know. Um, I will try and remember to, put, to uh, put the link in, but who knows. So here is the front page, it says teaching portfolio. Also, um, real quick, I have it in this folder because this is something I wouldn't mind leaving behind with them if they would like it. So yeah, that's just so you know, if it was something that I wanted back, I would of course put it in like a nice binder. But this way, if they want it, I can leave it there with them. So here's the front page, it says Eric Stickles, teaching portfolio. Then there's a table of contents. So her template has like three different pages of um, table of contents that go all the way through like 18 or something. I don't have very much stuff to put in here just because I have not had my own classroom yet. So the pages I did decide to use, ew, gross, are the informational documents, the classroom management, lesson plan examples, and student work examples. Then here's the informational documents page. I'm going to not show you that. That is my certificate um, or credential to teach in California. Here's my classroom management. Now for this, I just typed up, and it doesn't look perfect. I may reprint this, I'm not sure. Um, but it just shows a bulleted list of my main um, classroom management points. So I use choice theory and assertive discipline. I have um, choices with high expectations, a class compact and class made rules and consequences, early implementation of rules and routines, flexible seating, whole class incentives, strong relationships between peers and with teacher, and encouraged parent involvement. And then lesson plan examples. Um, these are different things that I've done in my student teaching that I put in here. This is definitely the um, most filled out section. So that was like a beginning of the year thing. This is a, an, an EL um, lesson that I did in a high school setting actually, but it would definitely work in a younger um, setting as well. So there's this. Sorry, I have food on the burner, so if I run away, that's why. And then here's a full lesson that I've planned um, previously. There's some more of it. My college had us type up our lessons very thoroughly. Then here's part of a parts of speech lesson I did with my students. And I actually took some of these pages to the first interview with me and I showed them. Here's a capacity estimation um, page I made for the metric unit. And then student work examples. This part is lacking, I'd say. But in here I just have two holiday projects that I did with my kiddos. One for Veterans Day and one for Thanksgiving. So I figured I could show off those. Yeah, so that is my portfolio that I'm going to take with me. I used this in my first one as a talking point when they asked me certain questions, like what is a lesson that went well? Um, for instance, on that question, I pulled out this... Um, oh, here's a different one. Um, I pulled out this one and this one because they were both really engaging lessons that my students loved. Okay, and then another thing that I have prepped in here, um, I'm not going to show you this top part because it has just the school's information, but in the bottom part, I thought over some of the questions I had received previously from this um, 
school and then I also went through their website. So I went through their website and noted important things that I really liked about their school or that I wanted to talk about. So for one, their Title I parent involvement. I read through their whole um, pact that they have with the parents and wrote down some key things about that. And then they asked me about standards-based grading last time, so I wrote down some info about that so I could answer it better. And then I'm still working on my PBIS um, plug because they use PBIS heavily in their school. And actually I have some more information about that on the next page. And then down here I have a couple questions for me to ask them. And then I'm also finishing up a, an answer on balanced literacy approach, which is a question that they asked me at my first interview. And I seem to answer it fine, but I want to write down some other things. And then here are some other common questions that people might get during a teaching interview and I have jotted down some quick little notes about each one. So how to handle discipline, discipline problems, why me, and then here's more information on PBIS and what it is. So I have all that in here. And then over here I have my own copies of some of those lesson plans just in case if they're looking at it I can pull out my own to refer to. And then I have copies of my resume back here. We made business cards in my um, my student teaching program, so I do have some of those in here still, and that's my um, folio, so I'll take both of those. I'm going to edit some of those pages so they fit better in there. But yeah, so right now my food is cooking on the stove. Once it's done, I'm going to eat real quick and probably take out, or what am I talking about? My brain's going. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to go do my makeup and then probably finish up my answers in here and edit those pages and then get dressed and take off. So I will show you all that, but first I'm gonna make my lunch and eat it and brush my teeth so I have nice fresh breath.
Hey guys, here is the finished look. I've got my makeup and my hair sort of done. I don't like to go over the top because then I'm just nervous about what it looks like. So I have kind of a basic makeup on and I just kind of straighten my hair because I know especially if it's hot out, it's not going to stay straightened. So, you know. Okay, and then I'm wearing my black blazer and this new pink shirt with this Oliver. With this necklace I got for my original interview with some pearl earrings and my new black pants and then my gray flats. So yeah, I'm gonna finish up a couple things real quick. It is 12.30 and I wanna get out of here. Um, I'm gonna print off a couple of pages that didn't look so great in my portfolio and then take this off because I don't wanna wear it until I get there because <laughs> I don't wanna get anything on it. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the car. I'm gonna be honest you guys, I didn't feel great. <sighs> I really thought it would go differently. Um, I thought I was doing really well. I felt good with my answers. I was obviously a little nervous, but towards the end, the principal was like, there'll be lots of opportunities. Um, keep positive so I don't know not feeling very great about that right now yeah um I think I'll talk to you guys when I hear back from the school whether it's a yes or a no um kind of leaning towards a no so might be a few days um yeah I'll let you know